Hello guys, this is Vic. Welcome to my channel and thank you for viewing my videos. Today I'm visiting the beautiful and very historic city of Istanbul here in Turkey. And in this particular video we're going to take the boat from the port of Istanbul and travel 20 kilometers southeast to the historic island of Heybeliada otherwise known as Halki to the Greeks. We're going to visit a very, very special place. We're going to visit the monastery of Holy Trinity of Aia Triada and we're going to go inside the classrooms of the theological school, of the Orthodox theological school that was shut down by the Turks in 1971 after, after many, many years of operation. This is Vic. We have so much to see, so much to learn. This is a very sentimental trip for me and I will explain to you why. Let's do it. Okay, I have uh, made it inside the grounds of the Holy Trinity Monastery. The Monastery of Agia Triada here in the island of Halki in Turkey, one of the princess islands in Turkish. It is known as Hebeli Adda. Hebeli Adda, actually. This site here is so dear to the Greeks, and this is because this is where the theological school of Halki was based at for centuries during the Byzantine times. If you wanted to become a priest, this is where you came in order to be educated. Unfortunately, it got shut down in 1971, and, and as I will explain to you, there's an ongoing argument and negotiation between the Greek and the Turkish government in order to reopen this very important, this very symbolic school. The present building here dates from 1896. We can see here a statue just before the entrance of the Ecumenical Patriarch of Bartholomeus, Bartholomew. And this is the beautiful front, the facade of the school. Let's go up the steps carefully and let's go inside and let's see if they're going to allow us to videotape some of the spaces inside this school. We need to ask for permission to do so. You can tell the beautiful architecture of this fascinating building. Let's go inside. Okay, the entrance is right behind me and this is the main foyer of the theological school and of the monastery. The monastery has been in existence for centuries here and there's still a few monks living here upstairs. Here we find beautiful Byzantine columns and beautiful murals on the ceiling. And on both sides of the foyer, beautiful marble staircases going up to the higher floors. So you can imagine if you came here, let's say 1950, the life in this monastery and theological school would have been absolutely incredible with monks and priests walking around. Going from classroom to classroom. Now it's all quiet. Now let's walk around and see if we get a chance to go inside the classrooms. First we need to find somebody and ask for permission. Let's go this way. Okay guys, here's something very rare. Very exclusive views we get to come inside. The theological school that was shut down in 1971. We are in one of the main corridors of the school and we're going to get a chance to go inside the classrooms. This is where the priests, the Greek Orthodox priests, were receiving their education 
in theological matters up to 1971. Let's go back to the end of the classroom. Let's turn around. And that's the blackboard. So before becoming a priest, a male would have to graduate from this theological school here. Sit in one of these desks and receive religious education. You can see a photograph of Kemala the Turk in the classroom here. No one has sat here to be educated as a priest since 1971. This is an ongoing battle and argument between the Greeks and the Turks. Let's go back to the main corridor, very rarely visited and seen and videotaped. And here at the end of the corridor, we're gonna find another classroom of the once famous, vibrant, Theological School of Halki. Look at this. My goodness. That's another photograph of Kemal the Turk. In order for the school to remain open, up to 1971, you would have to display a photograph of Kemal the Turk in every school, including Greek theological schools. Now let's go outside and let's see what else we're going to be allowed to videotape here at this monastery, the Monastery of Holy Trinity, Hagia Triada. Well, before we exit the theological school here in Halki, let's uh, visit the other corridor. And here we find a lot of rooms that are closed. Here were the libraries and the offices of the teachers. Everything is locked up except for the toilets at the far end of the corridor. Sometimes you get a chance to peek inside. There are empty rooms right there. These are the shelves that were full of religious books at one time for the priests. And everything is just quiet, awaiting the opening of this school. The future and negotiations are going on between the Greeks and the Turks for decades and decades. It is so important symbolically to the Greeks for this school to open up. Here's more offices right here, closed up. And there are signs everywhere that entrance is prohibited. We don't want to get anybody upset, so we're going to respect that. Okay, I'm on the ground floor of this theological school here in Halki. And finally, I got permission to come to the famous library. We're going to see just a few of the rooms of the library where manuscripts and ancient books are kept at. There's also computer equipment right there in the far distance. There are many, many rooms all around. Here's another room with periodicals and magazines with religious content. Okay, guys, it pays to be polite. The door is open and I'm now in the ancient library of Halki. This is where the ancient manuscripts are kept at. Thousands of ancient books. Look at them. Never filmed before, never shown before. 
Look at this. Everything dates pre-1930. There are shelves and shelves and shelves of books all the way down the far distance. Priceless books. Look at that. Okay, I'm in the depths of the library here. We bypassed the part of the library where four individuals of the staff here at the library are scanning and categorizing every book, indexing every book so that you can find it online. And there's thousands of these books. Some of them go back to 1500 after Christ. Let's turn around. You're not going to see these images anywhere. Absolutely incredible. Look how far the library extends to. Incredible. Let's go upstairs. I'm now in the back part of the monastery and of the school in the far distance right in the middle of the frame the hills that you see are the hills of the island of Buyukada, the largest and the grandest of the nine islands of princes that's Pringipos, the most important of the islands the most touristy and the largest now we're looking at the beautifully manicured grounds of the school theological school and of the monastery. You can see there's a church here in the middle. This is the Church of Holy Trinity. That's the name of the monastery dedicated to Holy Trinity. Okay guys, let's uh, interrupt the main video. We've been very lucky that somebody opened up the church here of Holy Trinity of Ayia Triada and we get a chance to look at it. It was built around or between 1770 and 1800. It's the main church of the monastery and of the theological school, famous for this icon here. You cannot see very clearly one of the very last icons of the Byzantine Empire. This icon dates from around 1400. The Byzantine Empire collapsed in 1453. Here's the iconostasis. Right behind is the altar. Look at the beautiful golden color of the ancient icons. I'm very, very thankful to the priest that allowed me to come in here for just a few seconds and to videotape this for you. Now let's go back and finish the main video. This is the Church of Holy Trinity. Finally, we got a chance to see the interior. The last thing I would tell you is that uh, there used to be a church here since the 9th century. When the original monastery was created, this one dates from much later, the mid 18th, early 19th century. Let's continue with our video. Incidentally, my mother was born and raised in Buyukada, the island that I just showed you. And I will be visiting the beautiful island for the next three days after Halki, after this one. 
It was a very special occasion for me that I finally got a chance after 40 years of planning to come here and to visit the theological school and the monastery of Hebeliadda of Halki. To the Greeks, he never became Hebeliadda. It always remained and it always, it will always be called Halki. This is Vic. Thank you for joining me. Time to finish this documentary. We visited the monastery and theological school of Halki, just about 20 kilometers southeast from Istanbul in Turkey. Bye-bye.